Hello, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're going to be talking about Movie Studio 16 Platinum and how to add text. So I already got my video and my project media, and I'm going to slide this down to the video and audio uh, file. This is a very big video I've made for our main channel. It is a phone review of the LG G6. Let's say I wanted to add uh, text to this video. Well, right above this, you can see my text. Um, file. I've already deleted the picture in picture so don't put it in the picture in picture that comes uh, pre-installed. You can always make another video track if you need one to layer your text and you can always swap them around if you would like. So if you have picture in picture right here uh, please go ahead and delete that or don't use it um, unless you know what you're doing with it. So that being said I'm gonna get to my text track or really any video track that is above the clip that I want the text to show on and then I'm going to go to my media generators tab and here you're going to see text and title you can simply slide this over here and you're going to get a clip that is a text and title like any clip you can fade it lengthen it shorten it anything you want to make this text appear for the amount of time you want it to appear for simply type what you want to type stuff uh, you can obviously a lot of control over the mistakes there too you can pick any kind of pre-installed font so if you have a font installed on your computer uh, from like the fonts.com or something it will show up in uh, movie studio 16 platinum so simply select that font and that is the font it will be uh, you can scroll down and have all sorts of control over this you can change the text color you can change the scale you can change the location which the easiest way to change the location is just to grab it uh, so let's say you don't see it like you're over here and you're like how come I don't see the text really you need to select your this is your marker you need to put your marker over the text that you're editing so you can see it what it's gonna look like in the project so if you if you've got this move video I'm sorry if you have this window open this editing window for your text uh, you can always move this around and put it anywhere you want uh, let's say you want to make it easier to read simply go to outline and you can add an outline to it and you can change the outline color a lot of times it's very easy to do a black color with a very broad outline and then you if you have black and white anybody's gonna be able to read that over any background uh, you can also add a drop shadow as well and with very 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 cool thing about Vegas you gotta select it there now now it has a drop shadow which you'll easier see over the wider background here so uh, with whatever you're doing you can animate it hitting the animate button will let you create keyframes that I'm afraid is going to be for another tutorial how to do keyframes it'll be called uh, keyframing I have a tutorial about that for an older version of Vegas or movie studio I highly suggest watching one of the uh, uh, keyframing tutorials it'll teach you all about how this works uh, we can't cover that in this video today uh, but one thing we can do let's say that you want a preset there's lots of cool presets here and then you can customize each preset as well so let's say you want it to fly in well I've selected the fly in preset it's changed the words to fly in because I've selected a new preset that has preset settings it has a bunch of animations I'm going to um, minimize this animations tab right now because we're not using it uh, we're going to look at all these different things right here this is what the fly and presets are you can still make changes uh, but it'll let it do something cool like let's watch it I'm sorry I'm on my laptop and my laptops not as powerful as my desktop so uh, I have to sometimes decompose the footage for it to move fast so um, right now here let's watch that again so you can see it right it is flying in the letters changes and it did that over any point I have that here use all sorts of neat presets earthquakes another cool one where it'll shake the individual letters that's difficult to see right now on my laptop I'm sorry about that see how the letters are shaking it's a little shaky because again my laptop is not that strong you can always scroll through it right here and see what you're doing 
if you want to, if you're ever, if you're having this problem on your computer, if your computer's not that good, uh, like this laptop, not that great for video editing. It's all right for video editing, but it is not. It is not the most ideal for video editing. Uh, you can go to selectively pre-render video. It won't let me do it right now because I have an early release copy, so I can make tutorials for you guys. Uh, while this thing's still coming out, so uh, when you're seeing this tutorial, this will already be out, and I will have the full version. But right now, I don't have the full version, so I can't do any rendering. That's what the trial. That's the problem with the trial. Uh, but the rendering, uh, I could pre-render that and just really kind of see it clearer. Like it would just show me a clear picture of what uh, this effect is. There we go. You can see it happening there. There's all sorts of really really cool effects that happen, action flip, speed up, twisty, placeholders, so all that is something unique to um, Vegas that it has nice presets for uh, to get you started on making a, kind of a custom text that you can use. So thank you so much for watching this Movie Studio 16 Platinum tutorial about how to add text. I hope I was able to help you out. Please leave a like if I was, and subscribe if you're looking for more tutorials. We have all sorts of Vegas uh, Pro and Movie Studios tutorials, and hopefully more camera tutorials and green screening tutorials and stuff like that coming out all the time. Thank you so much for watching. Check out our website if you're interested in Tech Dive as a whole and what we do and what we're up to, and we will see you next time.